Alright, welcome back to part 13 of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. It's time for another Whitey Monday installment, which is going to be a regular fixture on this channel, I believe. Assuming everything goes well. Uh, this is still the same recording session, so we just beat Blind the Thief and we had our sword strengthened by the blacksmith who was turned into a frog. You know, just normal everyday stuff going on in our lives today. And, uh... After a couple more episodes of this, after we tackle a couple more dungeons, I'll probably go ahead and see if I can find my way to uh, doing some Yoshi's Island today, which uh, I'm looking forward to. I haven't played that game in a while. Um, I've, I've missed it. <laughs> I just I haven't been recording my solo stuff, like I said, because I've been focusing on the co-op stuff that Red and I do, but also because I just haven't had a good chance to record my solo stuff. I've been working a lot more than I used to lately. I used to average maybe about uh, 15, sometimes more like 10. So let's say 10 to about 25 hours a week at work, depending on whether it was the busy movie season or not, because I used to work at a movie theater. Um, now at my new job, I am a consistent 40-hour worker so 40 hour work weeks all around. Ooh, fairies. That's good because I need some. Come on. Don't be scared. Come to me. Oh, damn it. Well, I can always smash that rock again because I really do need a fairy. But anyway, so I've been working a lot more than I'm used to and on my days off I've just been kind of slacking around, lazing around. Plus I my car's broken down, so I've been frantically trying to set up a situation where I can obtain a new one, because I've been having to get rides to and from work every single day, and it makes me feel like a fucking teenager. No offense to you teenagers out there, I guess. I mean, it's not your fault you can't drive cars, but I'm a grown-ass man with a grown-ass 40-hour-a-week job. I should be able to get myself places consistently. And it makes your bosses mad when you can't do that, so... Alright, here we are in the Skull Woods. Despite seeming like an overworld location, this is... This is actually the third Dark World dungeon. The fourth one we're doing, but it's the third in the prescribed order. And you fall down into the various holes and walk into the various stairways and it takes you to different parts of the dungeon. Which is... it's a really cool idea. But it annoys me because it's really convoluted and confusing. I'm not going to lie to you, Skull Woods will probably not be one episode by itself. It'll probably be a couple. Because this is some convoluted shit. This is Zelda at its puzzliest. Which is now a word. I deem it. Make it so. So I don't even know, really know where to start, so I'm just going to start... Where the fuck ever? I think I'm... Yeah, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I don't have the boss key, but... It'll be nice to know that's where the treasure chest is now. Which I believe contains the flame rod. Let's you light shit on fire from a distance. It's like the lantern, but useful. You know, it's weird. In uh, Link Between Worlds, they kept the lantern as an item. And you can even, you can even get an upgrade for it, but... It's like, who uses the fucking lantern? <laughs> Except in the Sanctuary Dungeon. Well, when it's dark out. When you're in a dark place, then it's useful, but... Not really the most heavily used item in this game, and it's... I can see why they brought it back for nostalgic purposes, but... Pretty much equally useless in that game as well, once you get past the first few dungeons or so. So we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna try to work our way through this. One of the most puzzling additions is the fucking wall masters, the hands that drop from the ceiling. They take you back to the outer area of the Skull Woods if they catch you. And unlike later games, there's very little warning when they're coming down, so they kind of just drop on you. See? I mean, there's not much warning. There's not like a looming sound or anything. It's just kind of like... And then they catch you. I wonder if I'm going the right way this time. 
you're going to have to bear with me because this is the authentic Zelda experience. You don't just do shit in Zelda most of the time. You gotta gotta work for it. And this dungeon is one of the one of the biggest work for it dungeons in this game. Oh god. Like I said last time, I feel sorry for you guys when you're gonna watch watch me do Turtle Rock, which is the second to last dungeon in the game. Because that that dungeon is fucking Oh, the puzzles. Wow, I already have the big key. So as soon as I find my way back out of here, I can go get the I can go get the flame rod already. It seems like this is like the thieves hideout. I got that done really quickly too, aside from blind himself and my technical issues. That did not take me very long. Wait. So I bombed the hole in the wall and then I walked away without walking through it. It's a boneheaded move. What's under here? Oh, just some magic. Then I don't feel too bad about that. Because that's fairly useless. It strikes me that... I mean, it's good that I came here with an upgraded magic meter, but it strikes me that I probably should have also brought a blue potion or two. Because magic is used up pretty quickly by the flame rod. And you kind of need it for the boss of this dungeon. Not to spoil anything. Well, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm going to spoil something that's about to happen in like 10 or 20 minutes. You guys, you guys know. I think most of the people who watch this have played A Link to the Past, actually. Most of my fans. Speaking of which, uh, we already kind of did this in one of our Donkey Kong Country episodes, but I wanted to take a quick moment to thank our many fans, because it's really weird to me that I have fans. We have 20 subscribers as of right now, as of when I last checked last night at least, when I was updating some playlists. And it's just so weird to me that there are people who choose to spend their time listening to me talk. <laughs> I guess I must have a really pleasant voice or something. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't want to presume your reasons for watching these videos, but... But uh, whatever reason you choose to watch, I appreciate it, because it's it's a lot of fun doing this. I don't need to make money doing it, obviously, because I don't. Especially with all the copyright shit going on, I'm not big enough. Well, I'm physically big enough, but our channel's not large enough to weather the storm of the, of the fucking copyright stormtrooper assassins, so... We don't make any money doing this. Some of our videos are monetized, technically, but... I mean, eh, who fucking cares? Red and I, we do this as a hobby. If we ever make money doing it, then that's fine, but we do it for fun, and we do it for the enjoyment of our viewers, so if you stop by Dual Wield Gaming, if, especially if you followed me here from my Mystical Slacker channel, I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for being awesome. Uh, Cat Nipton and Default XR and Johnny Marr, all of my old school fans, as well as the new ones that have followed us here. I know we got a mention on Twitter by uh, Boogie, I think is his name. I don't personally watch his stuff, but Red. Red loves the guy, so... Um, Boogie really helped us out. He got one of our videos to have over 100 views on it at one point. One of our Donkey Kong Country videos, I believe. In fact, it was part one of Donkey Kong Country part... <sighs> Fuck, I keep wanting to call it Donkey Kong Country part two. But it's just Donkey Kong Country 2, Part 1. And uh, if you hear some ringing in the background that sounds like Tattle from Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, it is because my sister is texting me quite fervently. She must really need something, so when I, when I stop this recording, I'm going to have to check that out. But I'm not going to make you sit here while I check my phone. That would be boring. Oh shit, it's a... Well, it's it, they call them like likes in the Japanese version, but I forget what they're called in here. In this version of the game, the English version, the version for angles, they uh, they can steal your shield, I believe. I really, speaking of which, I need to get around to upgrading my shield in this game. Hmm. Here's a question for you: Where the fuck do I go? I mean, I know, I know in general where I have to go, 
but I'm not very well versed on how to actually get there from here. I've, I'm running into a bunch of spaces where I need small keys and I haven't found any yet. Man, I should just drop down a hole and see where it takes me. This is what I'm talking about. This, this dungeon is kind of confusing. I like it. I mean, it's, oh, it's really neat. I mean, aesthetically and such. But man, it's confusing. No, don't fall down the hole, Link. It actually does non-negligible damage in this game. Anything behind here? Nope. Okay. I always love that you can slash away, like, the curtains on the wall in this. It's a nice touch. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did not think that through. Okay, you're not going to get me this time. Is there something in this pond, or am I just wasting my time? Oh, well. I mean, not a huge waste of time, but also not the biggest reward that I was hoping for. I was hoping for a fucking key. Because I don't know what the fuck to do, you guys. I'm not using a walkthrough, because that would be really hard to do since I'm using my computer to play this. Oh, shit. I made a bunch of holes appear by getting that compass. Uh... I guess I could always have a strategy guide on my lap or use a laptop, but... Wow. That would be... Come on, Wallmaster, I know you're coming. That would be an awful lot of work, to be quite honest with you. And also, I don't own the strategy guide for this game. So there's always that. So his bones can sometimes travel through walls, but not always, huh? Oh, God, that was close. Luckily, I ran through him after his clutching animation had finished, I think, so he didn't get me. Oh, that's helpful. It brought us to where we've already been. Should have saved that key for somewhere else, damn it. I guess that would be useful if you didn't already have the fire rod. God, I love the dungeon music in this, by the way. Oh yeah, I, I mentioned this on Twitter, and I know a few of you saw it. Uh, if you listen to the Hyrule Castle theme from the first, quote, dungeon where you rescue Princess Zelda from Hyrule Castle, it contains a miniature remix of the original Zelda dungeon music. It's really neat. Check it out. Oh god. <laughs> oh, when I was little, those hands scared the shit out of me. Like, I would think that the, that kind of thing was going to happen in real life. That I was just going to be walking along one day and a giant hand would fall from the ceiling. I would genuinely, I would genuinely have nightmares about it. Speaking of which, I, uh, I don't drink caffeine, by the way. I stopped drinking caffeine and generally soda quite a while ago for, uh, for health reasons. But, God, I had some caffeine yesterday just as a special treat. I had a Coke. Well, I shared my girlfriend's Coke when we went out to dinner. And, oh, I had the worst dreams. Have, if you've ever had a really bad fever and dreamt uh, while you have a bad fever and you just kind of burn your brain in your sleep with the dreams, you know what I'm talking about. It was just like that, even though I didn't have a fever. Just the weirdest, most fucked up nightmares. Uh, frustratingly enough, I kept, <laughs> I kept having nightmares... There'd be really scary things, you know, like running away from monsters and shit. Then I'd wake up and I'd... Well, in the dream, I would wake up and I would use my phone to, like, text someone or call someone and be like, Oh, you gotta come help me. And then I would still be asleep. And I would wake up for real and I'd be like, Where did that text go? Why didn't that send? So, yeah, I was having a scary time. It was not pleasant. Where the fuck am I going? I'm sure you guys are stoked for episode one of Watch Whitey walk around the woods for a little bit and say, where the fuck am I going forever? Oh, God, why did you all respawn, you fucking gibdos? You fucking mummy fucks. Going all angry video game nerd on your asses. Oh, God. What are those things even called? The little blobby guys. Blobby. Look like little bulbs. Oh, shit. Is there anything here? Where the fuck do I go? This is why I wasn't looking forward to Skull Woods. 
Because I know, in general, where I need to go. I need to get to... I need to get to the part of the dungeon that has this big trunk, and I have to set it on fire, and... Well, you guys will see, but... So I know I need to get there, but I don't know how to get there. And I seem to have... Oh, fuck, how are you hiding in that bush? You're not small enough. Don't fool yourself, honey. You're not... <laughs> You're no spring chicken. You're not slim enough to fit in a fucking bush. Don't don't kid yourself. Get the fuck out of my face, you little leechy, blobby thing. May I have to go outside and go around a little bit? We'll try that. Ah, it's a ghost! Carrying a Bible, I guess? I think it has a little Bible. Let's go see. Yeah, it looks like it's holding a book... Oh, it's a lantern. Oh, shit, is that a Poe? Maybe they're not called that in this, but... Oh, shit, I think that might... That might be, a, like, a prototypical Poe from the Ocarina of Time and the other 3D games. Wow, I didn't realize that. So, no Bible, just a little lantern. The shine in the lantern looked like a cross to me, so... Uh, I hope I'm doing better at not huffing into the microphone like I used to. I'm trying to get a get a handle on that. When I'm using the big microphones for the co-op stuff, it doesn't... It's not a danger, because I'm sitting far away enough that you can't hear me breathe, but I noticed when I was watching the other episodes that are already uploading of this that... that when I breathe through my mouth, you can kind of hear it, and trying to get better about that, guys, but bear with me. I'm still a novice at this. Despite the fact that I've been doing it for a little while now, I'm still still in the learning stages. Okay, now we're, I think we're getting somewhere here. I think we're making some progress. Or not? Yeah, not. Oh, come on. There's got to be something. I don't think any of these things do anything. Why are they... Why are there so many skulls, though? Seems suspicious. Seems mighty suspicious. Come on. There's gotta be some way to make some fucking progress here. I'm just glad my cats are leaving me alone now. When I was recording earlier, I was very lucky that she didn't try to do this, but I have a fairly young cat, about four months old. She likes to jump on your face and shove her asshole in your face, to put it bluntly. <laughs> and, uh, that she would be rubbing like crazy all over this microphone, and that would not be pleasant for you guys. Where the fuck do I go? Where the fuck do I go? The official game. Because every step of the way, I am thwarted by my bad memory about this game. To be fair, one of the reasons I chose to play this on the LP channel was it, it was because it had been a while since I played this, so you know, I was I was down for a replay, it had been a while. So it, I know I knew it wasn't going to be the freshest thing in my mind, but I thought I would at least be knowledgeable enough to get through it without having to consult a walkthrough every step of the way, and maybe I was wrong about that. Skull Woods, why have you forsaken me? Why must you be this way? No one will want to be your friend if you're this hard. Okay, so what happens if I go to the left here instead of going up? Okay. That looks newish. Okay. Do I need to... I need to get a key and get in there, I think. Wait. No, no, no. This is someplace new. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. I think this is a good thing. I know that I have to go over there, but I'm exploring a little bit. So. Um. Yeah, let's turn back a little bit. Because I know that I need to go here at least once. I don't know if I can just move straight on forward, or if there's more key finding to be done. But... I mean, we already have the dungeon item, so if we can go and face the boss, then we might as well go ahead. Oh, yeah. I always loved that. You just burn it right down its fucking trunk or whatever the fuck that is. 
opens a big gaping hole in the skull. So, um, we're going to go ahead and leave it a cliffhanger here. I'll see you guys next time in part 13. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Preposterous Whitey, and I love each and every one of you equally as my children. Goodbye. <laughs>